angry. They're angry at themselves because they know tomorrow they're still going to want to see him. <laughs> Hello, guys. You're welcome. My name is Big Cake Crown. So, guys, we're going to be checking out something different this time around. This time, we're going to be checking out a man who unboots a room full of women. There's a man that always, you know, have a discussion, relationship discussion with these women. So, his name is Matthew Houston, and the title of the video is The Dumbest Dating Mistake Everybody Makes. Forget that guy. Mm, I can't wait to listen and you know, learn. So, without further ado, let's watch. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be a magic trick. This weekend, I release a video about something I call the bliss point. The food industry has a term, a term called the bliss point. The bliss point is the optimal level of salty and sweet in a food that keeps you wanting more of it. Think Nutella, think peanut butter, kettle corn. What's the bliss point that means even though you're getting full, you're not satiated. You keep wanting more of that food. I believe there's a bliss point in communication. And what I have done for this weekend's video that comes out uh, uh, Saturday evening uh, for YouTube is I have broken down three text messages from guys and given people three, three bliss point responses, one for each text. Uh, here's my prediction. This is the magic trick. There are going to be a decent number of comments under this video from women who say something along the lines of, if a guy isn't texting me on the day of our date and isn't giving me a plan or is being flaky or is making me do all the work mm. screw him i'm not going to send him one of these sweet salty messages that you talk about i'm not going to be nice i'm not going to be kind and they'll, they'll have some like hashtag that says boy bye <laughs> or something uh, <laughs> mark my words in anticipation of these comments, because I know they're coming, I started to think about this. <laughs> and I thought, what, what will I say to those people who I already know are going to say it, even though they don't know they're going to say it yet? You don't have to be ruthless in your tone if you are ruthless in your actions. I'll repeat. You don't have to be ruthless in your tone if you are ruthless Action. in your actions. Wow. In fact, if you are ruthless in your actions, you can be sweet as pie in your tone. <laughs> tone isn't that big of a consequence. Mm. Tone just has the ability to make you sound really unattractive and hurt by something. So what tone has the potential to do is show someone that they have total power over your emotions. I get angry with you, I get pissy with you, I do that whole boy bye. <laughs> All I'm showing is that you have actually had an effect on me. Mm. You've actually angered me. You who I barely know. You who I barely know, who might as well be a stranger, we've seen each other this little. You have had this much of an effect on my emotions. No. Mm. You have a standard. And that standard is you're a great person. Mm -hmm. You're a kind person. Mm -hmm. You're a positive mm -hmm. person. And so when someone does something that doesn't meet your standard, you don't become a mean, passive, aggressive, obnoxious, difficult, nasty, snippy person. Mm -hmm. You stay sweet yes. and kind and positive and warm. But your actions sure. tell the story of the consequences. Mm. Wow, this is lovely. The beginning, I really love the beginning where he explained bliss point. Bliss point means when you always want more, whether food, anything, you have gotten something, but you, you, you are not just satisfied, you just want more of it. So that's when your bliss point, and I actually grabbed that. And I love the part, I love where you were trying to explain how some ladies test a guy and they will test them rudely. And when they test a guy, and the guy is not being sweet to them, sweet to them in return, they'll be like, well, see, this guy is not skinny, you just want to you know, push him aside because you want him to be 
sweet and lovely to you and it doesn't work that way you have to you know act normal not act normal be friends from there you guys get along but you can't just you know have a crush on the guy or start liking the guy and you texting the guy and you want the guy to actually act the way you want him to act oh no if the guy actually loves you in return he can do that but if the guy is just liking you normal likeness as a friend and he's just trying to get to know you it will take a long time it's take you no know, it will take time for him to actually get to know you where it takes time for him to actually show that love lovely part or that sweetie romantic part you want that to take time and another thing you also talk about that a lot of ladies are sweet they are caring they are like within them they are down to earth but their action doesn't speak well of them like and one thing most guys are after is your action it's not all about you saying oh i'm like this i'm sweet no no, no. it's that's why they say action speaks louder than the real words that's why i say your tones if you give us a sweet so oh, how are you doing is that what you want to chop that's not what you want to chop you don't, you don't have to give us all those phonetic you no know, words or speak in phonetic way for a guy to actually like you no guys don't you know that doesn't really get them anymore just be yourself talk the way you talk talk normally if the guy does not like the way you talk then let him go then that's his pro that's the guy's problem but in a case in a, in, in that case in which you're sweet with your tone but your action doesn't speak well of you you don't behave well you don't you know they've heard a lot of things about you that oh this lady is so down to earth she's so nice she's so caring she's a giver she's this she's that and while trying to get to know you they are saying the other side of you the opposite of what they've heard about you then what do you expect from the guy the guy will draw back he will be like no 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 I heard this about her, but this is not what I've seen. This is not what she's, you know, I'm getting from her. I don't think she's actually what they told me she is. Maybe they don't really know her that much. And you, you're just trying to, you know, play out together. Or you're just trying to, you know, not show yourself completely to the person. Just be yourself. Your actions should speak louder than your words. Don't need to talk much for a guy to actually, you know, like you. Don't need to talk much for a guy to actually like that's why the guy said these are the dumbest thing mistakes ladies make when they want to you know be in a relationship with a guy yes just be yourself and i'm actually enjoying this guy's relationship talk it's so you know it's so interesting and educating very very educating so let's keep watching guys that's the most powerful part of dating if you want to know what i think is the dumbest mistake mm. people are making in dating it's wearing all of their consequences in their tone mm. and none of them in their actions. Because mm -hmm. I guarantee that same woman who's getting all angry and, and bitter and passive aggressive in her tone, I'll guarantee that same woman a week later, if he gets all sweet with her, will we'll start to maybe think about seeing him again. In other words, she is ruthless in her tone and completely moldable and malleable in her actions. Mm. The reverse is much more powerful. You know why people get so pissed off in their tone? It's because they really are planning on seeing him again. They're like, why do you do this? You're making this so difficult. I really want to see you. I'm, I like you and you're annoying me. <laughs> why do you, you, you think you could just do this to me? But they're angry at themselves. Mm. Not angry. They're angry at themselves because they know tomorrow they're still going to want to see him. <laughs> That's what they're pissed off about. Screw you for making me swallow my pride in the text I'm going to send you tomorrow. <laughs> you don't, you're not angry if you don't care about... If, if you're not really interested in seeing someone again, you don't get angry. Do you? Like, do you, if, if you're out of my life tomorrow and I'm never going to see you again, am I really that angry? No, no I'm like, I'm on to the next day. Yeah, you move on. But it's because I care. Yeah. And it's because I am going to see you again. And I'm going to 100% screw over my own standards to see you again. Mm. And I hate that you're making me into this person mm. who compromises on her standards because she likes you. I hate that. And now I'm going to get angry with you as a result. Mm. And I'm going to show you that you have all this power over me. Moral of the story is this. Be ruthless in Action. your actions. Be kind in your tone. 
you will find dating is much easier for you and you'll find you get far more attraction. Not only will you get far more attraction, but you'll actually be the one in control. Hmm. Hmm. Be ruthless in your action and be kind in your tone. Yes. Be kind. Like, and it's true. Most ladies do those things. They'll be like, I don't want to say you. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired. This, this, this. Why are you there? But within them is the opposite. They want to see you. And to them, they're angry at themselves because the things that they don't like to do because of you, they have to compromise. They have to get you to such standard. No, there are some. Every lady has their own standard. We all have our own standard. We all believe that no guy can control us. No guy can make me change. No guy can make me stop doing these things. Oh, I don't want to do You're always snacking, complaining, get angry. All because you find yourself indirectly, you know that you're falling deeply in love with the person, but you're just angry at yourself that you can't stop thinking about this person. And because of this person, I've compromised into a lot of things. I've like changed myself. This is not how I used to be. Now I have changed because of this person, and that's how it's supposed to. You have to. That's how love is. When you love someone, there's some things that you have to compromise. You need to change just to make sure the partner, you know, just to make sure both of you are okay, just to bring peace and bring understanding. That's it. So that's why I said, be ruthless in your action, be kind in your tone, be no normal, be yourself. And your tone, don't be too harsh when you're talking, don't be too harsh. Yes, it's normal for you to say your mind, but if you're too authoritative, if you're, if you're too authoritative, a man will not see you, a man will not appreciate you, no, a man will not want to have you because they will think you want to be controlling them. So don't be too controlling, just be kind, be ruthless. Wow, I love this this relationship talk i really enjoyed it i really learned a lot from me so guys that's all i have for you this particular video don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more reaction videos i'll see you guys in my next video catch you